say, man, um, I decided to open up with something a little bit different, man. It's a lot going on around the world. And goddamn it, sometimes a song can, uh, yeah, it can, it can send a little, uh, peace in the air. And yeah. So anyway, let's go on and open up with a song. Pray on just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. And everything is going to be all right. Say, man, what it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Whew. God damn it, I'm out of breath. Let me catch my goddamn breath. Shit. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, that's my uh, Kumbaya song. That's my uh, Go Tell It On The Man. Yeah, that. This is my piece. This is my final call for truth. Um... I'm from Texas, and it ain't just because I'm from Texas. I've been rocking with Spence, but I'm a huge fan of Bud. But, yeah, um, I've been kind of neutral on the situation. But, yeah, I rock with Spence all day long. But I'm a fan of Bud also. So, anyway, I'm calling for both of you motherfuckers. Bud and Spence fans, um, yeah, I think we need to go on and come together, man. This this some kumbaya moment. Uh, a lot of shit going on. Yeah, y'all need to go on and come together. If y'all can't agree on nothing else. Can we agree that Eddie Hearn need to let it burn, man? Can we agree that Eddie Hearn need to let it burn, bro? I'm I'm just looking at the disrespect, and I'm saying that unless Bud and Spence fans, y'all gone it. Yeah, call the truth to this shit, bro, because I, I ain't neither one of y'all have convinced the other group that y'all right. Both of y'all think y'all right. So, yeah, let's just call it into that shit. Nobody ever won. Yeah, nobody won, so you might as well go on and, yeah, just come together and just to say fuck Eddie and, and fuck a lot of these promoters because I think they getting in the way of these fights. And I'm going to be honest with you, um, this our last shot, man. Uh, Yeah, we got to get this Spence versus a uh, crop because if we don't, bro, I'm going to tell you, these promoters finna get in the way of that. I believe the promoters are blocking it. I truly believe it. Um, At this point, and I'm going to tell you something, you know, a lot of you motherfuckers, you know, and I'm happy to bug getting his money and this and that. And at this point, I think he's just trying to he's just trying to find some find a promotion. This and that. he's trying to do his own thing. But uh, I don't trust Oscar. And I just think Oscar got some he got a place set up. And I just think that. Yeah, I think all of them be on the phone together. I think and Bob, he he they, he, he, he they OG. So and they all listen to Bob and shit like that. And I think they all talk. And I truly believe that at this point. That's just it, that's just an agenda that I see, bro. Um, I mean, if you look look in, look at look around in box, and I gotta be honest, and I learned it, and I fucks with cool boy still tough, <clears throat> and I want him to fight in a way. I hope that fight happen, but and I think he a dog, but you know, I heard around the landscape when they asked him about Risa Lane, he was like, he got to work his way up, or he ain't ready, and this and that. I'm just saying that as an example, like when it comes to black fighters fighting black fighters, black fighters ain't even interested because it's like I got to cross racial bounds. That's the only way I can make money or some shit because I see that's what they're doing. Um, These motherfuckers done devalue Spence versus Crawford all the way down to as if it's Sean Porter versus Danny Garcia. Just some, yeah, just a regular good fight. Yeah, it's like Sean Porter versus Daddy or some shit. Yeah, that, that's what Spence versus Crawford has become. These motherfuckers are trying to belittle this fight. And uh, we know casual fans are taking over. We know who they cater to. So all you diehard Spence and Cro uh, Bud fans, y'all need to at least kumbaya for some shit. At least just to keep this fight alive, bro. They trying to kill the fight. And I'm going to tell you something. I know you motherfuckers scared of, uh, most of you motherfuckers scared of Bob. I know that for sure. But Eddie, uh, for one, he ain't even from here. Uh, his dust with that top on the with that piece on the top of his shit that's always crooked. He ain't never got it lined up right, and he keeps splashing water. But that bitch dry dry out. That shit always dry. Uh, anyway, yeah, I I figure we could at least you know debunk this shit, bro. 
can we debunk you motherfuckers debunk every goddamn thing else can we come together and debunk what the fuck eddie trying to because i'm gonna tell you something see eddie eddie is stupid he, he's a stupid motherfucker he ain't smart like these white boys over here in america american whites are much smarter than uk whites i just got to be honest they, they they know way more trickery and game and i'm gonna tell you something bob might have got on his ass because what eddie is doing he's only saying what they all talk about yeah, when he said Tank versus Ryan is bigger than Spence versus Bud, which I think uh, Tank versus Ryan is a big fight, but I knew what he was doing. He was trying to push that fight away. Oh, they can't even come together and do negotiations. The fight won't happen and, and try to devalue it. Now you coming out and you saying, ought the better be versus Bivol is bigger than Spence versus Bud, bro. I got to be honest with you, bro. Uh, Caleb Plant versus David Benavidez is a much bigger fight than uh, a fucking Bivol. But, we gotta be honest, bro. Even though Bivol, <laughs> even though Bivol, uh, beat Canelo, bro, that shit didn't gain him nothing, bro. Uh, I mean, real boxing fans put a little respect on his name, but that shit didn't get him no kind of casual attraction, bro. No, I don't think he got any fan off that shit. His, his stock didn't really go up, bro. Um, uh, he's never been a big name. Better be was not a big name, bro. Uh, even if they have it in Russia or whatever they try to do. That shit, that ain't bigger than Cool Boy Still versus Inouye. So, Eddie, you got to be on some dope and, and, and dog food. Uh, You on some shit. You on that old Roy. I don't know what the fuck wrong with you, bro, but stay out of black business. Uh, And I think Spence, <laughs> I think Spence and Bud fans, if we can't agree on nothing else, bro, can we keep these motherfuckers out of our business? Uh, Bud fans, since you motherfuckers love, get in touch with, but let them motherfuckers just come together and talk about this shit. Because at this point, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep it real, bro. Bud play on that shit, you motherfucking Bud, uh, that you, that his fans push. And really, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Even though I think I didn't do right by you, Bud, you was a little too goddamn arrogant in the negotiations, though. And you really, you really, you, you really didn't want to, you didn't want to submit, bro. You, you really didn't want to say that Spence is the bigger star. You you never really wanted to say that, bro. But I don't think you fucked up the negotiations. I don't think it was you. I think it was Al. I think it was Steven Espinosa. I don't think they respected you. Um, man, they probably offered you twelve million or some shit. Uh, which I think that fight is worth way more than that. They probably offered him. They probably offered them ten million or some shit. So I I don't think they done right by him. But bud, you 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 was a little too goddamn arrogant. You need to humble yourself a little more. At this point. I, I can't blame Spence. It's just that Spence kind of, he sit back. He, he see what's going on. And one thing about it, I, but I think I think, I think think he got to do what Al say. Yeah, I think that's why he making them fight Keith. Uh, double E with the F. Uh, I still think uh, Spence don't want that fight. I don't think he won't. And I think Al is forcing that fight, which uh, I think is wrong. So, um, yeah, uh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie done jumped. He, he done did some. That's some wild shit to do, bro. That motherfucker. That motherfucker just let it all hang out, bro. To come out and say Arthur better be versus uh Bill was a bigger fight than Spence versus Bud. That shit there is like blasphemy or some shit to me. But uh anyway, um, I just man at this point, just like we argued and talk shit to each other, maybe we can come together and man build this fight and. And cause the fans, we we are the people, bro. We are the voice. And 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 Bud and Spence, they both listen to us. They listen to what the fuck we say. So maybe we can kumbaya some shit. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya, yeah, that shit, that African shit, all that that sauce. But anyway, maybe we can do that shit, and maybe we'll understand it better by and by, and some other shit. And yeah, and yeah, because y'all, we we want this fight, bro. We want this fight. And I ain't going to never stop saying I don't want it. So, yeah, I don't give a fuck what happened. This is a fight that got to happen. I will always call for this fight. This is 903 Box, and I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.